Celebrated for his humility and for bringing people closer to God, Father Solanus Casey will be beatified in a special ceremony tomorrow at Ford Field. It brings him a step closer to sainthood. And more than 60,000 people are expected to attend. Mick Monticelli has more on his impact. For months, there has been a steady stream of people at the Father Solanus Casey Center in Detroit. This is where the tomb of Solanus is, and this is where many Catholics come to pray, usually asking for help. I'm probably the miracle, if you really think about it. One of those asking for help was the mother of Dorothy Dewey. In 1944, she came to Father Solanus Casey when doctors told her she would lose her baby. And of course, Father Solanus answered the door and took her in and she probably sobbed and told him her story and he blessed her and pretty much told her go home and you're going to have a healthy baby. That's Tom. Okay. And she did. Dorothy is proof of that. The massive doors at the Father Solanus Casey Center are a symbol of his open door policy to help anyone. Nobody knows that better than his family. Sister Ann Herkenrath is his great niece. Solanus was known throughout Detroit. And, you know, he didn't do anything but answer the door and listen to people. The stories of Solanus, though, could go on for weeks, and many will be told tomorrow inside Ford Field for his beatification ceremony. It's one of the last steps before becoming a saint. But why is this such a big deal? Why will nearly 70,000 people be watching Friars instead of football? We're really privileged because this is the kind of thing you don't know when it's going to happen. Father David Bruce is the director of the Father Solanus Casey Center and admits this is the Detroit Archdiocese Super Bowl. They have been working on this, making Solanus a saint for more than 60 years because of the hundreds, if not thousands, that flocked to Solanus for help. People who can actually see this beatification in person because these usually take place in Rome. But many of the people down on the floor will be the people that come here daily, or weekly or monthly, that those who have been on this journey with us. For many though, tomorrow is a reason to celebrate. The Catholic Church has certainly had its struggles from sex abuse scandals to declining parishioners. So tomorrow, for many, can be a restart. I hope and pray that there is a, a renewal of faith among the people, and especially for the younger people, that they uh, realize that the church is worthwhile. By now, you've likely heard about the miracles attached to Solanus's name, but before becoming a saint, there has to be at least one more miracle. To Catholics, it's like saying, here's our pick. We say, Lord, it's up to you. Um, we think that he's a, a great person. What do you think? And so give us a sign. But no one has any idea until it happens. And when Father Solanus Casey could become Saint Solanus Casey. In Detroit, Nick Bonacelli, Local 4. Okay, Nick, and in order to be considered blessed, a miracle needs to be witnessed, documented by a panel of physicians as having no medical or scientific explanation for a cure. A second miracle needs to be witnessed after Father Solanus is beatified in order for him to become a canonized saint. Tomorrow, you can watch the ceremony live on ClickOnDetroit.com or tune in to MeTV Detroit, that's channel 4.3. It all starts at 4.